What's up? I am here to show you six quick tips for how I went from this to this in about six months. All right, before we dive in, if you like content about how to create a healthy lifestyle that can help you sustain these long-term results, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because that's what this is all about. All right, first tip we are going to cover is daily activity. Uh, so let me preface this by saying I do not mean crush yourself with workouts seven days a week. That is not at all what I'm saying. I am saying daily activity. A lot of times we get into this mindset of like, oh, I went to the gym three or four times this week. Uh, I'm good. That's all I need. And then we, we get lazy and we sit on the couch the, the rest of the week. Uh, but that's not enough. That's not enough. We want to increase our daily activity. So that could be a daily walk. That could be uh, going to the playground with your kids and taking a couple extra laps, playing soccer with your kids, playing baseball. Uh, taking the dog on a walk, parking further out in the parking lot. We've heard all of these things before, but making it a part of your daily activity, I'm, I mean daily, like do something active every single day, uh, that's going to be a big one. All right, tip number two, protein. Focus on protein. At every meal, every time you sit down and consume calories, I want you to have some type of protein on your plate. So breakfast, if you're just eating some fruit, grab a protein shake or something with it, uh, or some eggs or some egg whites. Lunch, if you typically eat salad, great. Add some chicken or some fish to it. Dinner, if you're eating like lasagna or something like that, great. Make sure your lasagna has some ground turkey or something like that in it, all right? Every time you sit down and eat a meal, add some protein to it. If you are tracking your intake, which I recommend that you do, spoiler alert, that's one of my six tips. Uh, try to, you want to consume, aim for about one gram of protein per pound of body weight, ideal body weight that you would like to be at. So let's say your goal body weight is 150 pounds, then you should be consuming 150 grams of protein each day. All right, make that your goal. Protein is important. It helps you feel full. It helps you support that lean muscle growth. The more lean muscle you have, the faster your metabolism is burning, the faster your fat is burning. Uh, turn your body into a, a, a fat burning machine, basically. So focus on protein. All right, you ready for that third one? Number three is pick a deadline. Give yourself something to shoot for. So if you were to sign up for a marathon, for example, or a 5K, you have a, a, a date on the calendar that you're shooting for and you're training for and you have a training plan. Same thing with any sort of weight loss or fitness target that you have. Pick a deadline. I want to lose 20 pounds by when? And then give yourself a, a carrot to chase. Uh, go book a cruise or a vacation. Uh, go buy yourself a sexy red dress that's uh, one size too small for you. Uh, go buy yourself a spa day and you can only cash it in when you've reached your goal. Give yourself a deadline. Give yourself something to shoot for uh, to keep yourself motivated. Keep yourself on track. The fourth pro tip I have for you is avoid starvation or fad diets. Uh, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Don't try to do this in four weeks or, you know, 12 weeks or something like that. What, what I said in the very beginning of this video was it took me six months. But would you be upset if you got those kind of results in six months? I would not be able to maintain a detox or a starvation diet or anything that was super depriving for six months. That's a long time, you guys. Find something that you can be consistent with. So if, you know, keto or, or some of those diets, if they're not sustainable for you, then find something that works with your lifestyle and is sustainable. All right. Here we go. Tip number five, you guys. Learn how to track your intake. I don't know this is going to get a lot of eye rolls from some people because it's hard. It's uncomfortable. I admit uh, you're right. The first couple of weeks of learning how to track your macros and track your intake, it's uncomfortable. But anything that's new 
anything that's going to help you reach your goals is going to be uncomfortable at first, but it becomes easy and you'll get there. I promise. So download an app. There's lots of free tools out there. I personally like my fitness pal, but there's lots of options. Uh, get yourself a food scale, track your intake, because we all know it's calories in versus calories out. And if you're just guessing at how many calories you're consuming and guessing at how many grams of protein you're consuming, because we talked about protein a couple minutes ago, uh, then you're just shooting at a target with your eyes closed in the dark wearing a blindfold. All right. So learn how to track your calories. I promise you, anyone who has the physique that they want is either currently tracking their intake or has done it for so many years that they can do it by estimating. If you have never done it before, you haven't earned the right to estimate yet. So figure out a way, uh, learn how, continue to watch my videos because I'm going to keep showing you how, uh, but track your intake. All right, the final tip that I'm going to give you in this video is probably uh, the best one and one that people don't necessarily know about. Set a meal schedule and stick to it every single day, seven days a week. Figure out a meal routine that works for you. I don't care if it's uh, intermittent fasting and you eat two large meals a day or if you follow the five small meals a day rule. Whatever works for you and your schedule and your hunger uh, levels, figure out a routine that works for you and stick to it. So I mean like on the calendar or on the, on the schedule, you know, breakfast at 7 a.m., snack at 10 a.m., lunch at 1 p.m. That's just an example. But put them on your schedule and only eat at those times. What this does is it helps with snacking. You know, if, if it's not a meal time, it's not time to eat. It, it helps you avoid those uh, snagging calories, the unwanted calories that you're just kind of subconsciously eating and don't realize it. It also helps you be a little bit hungry. And when you're hungry, you're burning fat. That's a good thing. Also, it trains your body to know when you're getting food. After one week, maybe two weeks of sticking to a meal routine, your body knows when to be hungry. You will not be hungry in between meals because it knows to expect a meal at a certain time. You can train your body's hunger cues. Try it out. I promise it'll be a game changer. All right, that's it for me. I hope those six tips were helpful. I hope you put some of them into action. And if you like this type of content, click below, subscribe, and like and comment. All right, I will be happy to answer any questions you guys have.